the historical avant-garde in Spain, or Las Vanguardias, with special attention to the role of the little magazines. The avant-garde was an artistic movement in the beginning of the 20th century. The origin of the word is French. It comes from a military term to describe the first line of attack in an army. The artists and poets of the avant-garde art movements considered themselves to be the first to break with well-established norms in the arts and elsewhere. The historical avant-garde, a term we use to talk about the innovative art movements at the beginning of the 20th century, can be found in all of the art forms listed here. I spent 10 years studying the avant-garde in Spain, resulting in the publication of a book published by Bucknell University Press. My driving question was, did the poets and artists in Barcelona and Madrid know each other? You can see in this map of Spain that Madrid is in the center and Barcelona is in the north, close to France. At the time, the primary language spoken there was Catalan, and it still is. The first avant-garde art movement to make a splash in Spain was Futurism. It was founded in 1909 by F. T. Marinetti. In this storyboard, we have a definition. Hmm, what is Futurism? What? An Italian art movement beginning in 1909. It was an international art movement. Hello, I am the Earth. Hi, my name is Filippo Tomas Marinetti. I wrote the Manifesto of Futurism. We are his friends. What we want to do is to break down the mysterious doors of the impossible. I think they hate me. Hmm. Futurists denied the traditional way and forms they inspired by speed, new technology, and cities. Poets wanted to free poetry from its traditional forms, like the sonnet, as seen here. Marinetti published his first Futurist Manifesto in a newspaper from Milan called Le Figaro. As soon as it was published, it was translated into Spanish, and it appeared in a handful of little arts magazines in Spain. Thanks to these publications, poets, artists, writers, and others had access to this groundbreaking movement that took root in Italy, then morphed into a life of its own in Barcelona and Madrid. Cubism is an avant-garde movement that proposed looking at an object from multiple perspectives, then combining all of those views onto the canvas at once. Another innovation credited to Cubism is collage, as seen here, where pages of little magazines and other publications were cut and pasted on the canvas, putting them front and center. Dada was founded in Zurich, Switzerland, but quickly made its way to Spain through Picabia. Here is an illustration from Picabia's little magazine 391. He launched the periodical in Zurich then Paris, followed by Barcelona, then New York City. In his escape of World War I, he took his magazine with him. Here is an example of a Dada poem published in a little magazine from Spain, written by Guillermo de Torre. The Chilean poet Vicente Huidobro wrote a manifesto for his contribution to the avant-garde movement called Creationism. You can see how he incorporates fine arts and poetry to create a poem that takes the shape of a windmill. The poem is in French because he was living in Paris at the time, prior to his move to Madrid. Another Latin American living in Spain was Rafael Barrada. He invented an avant-garde movement called Vibrationism that had expressions in painting and poetry as seen here in this poem. Like Barradas, Torres Garcia was also from Uruguay and living in Barcelona. His contribution to the avant-garde was constructivism. In 
Madrid, a group of poets and artists invented an ism of their own called Ultraismo. They shared their works with others by publishing them in little magazines, like this one called Ultra. These were the major isms of Spain. There were many throughout Europe. Eventually, they made their way to the Americas as poets and artists fled during the Spanish Civil War and other major conflicts. All of these movements led to the most famous one, Surrealism, founded in Paris in 1929. Thanks to the little magazines and personal contacts between poet and artist friends, Dali created this painting the same year the Surrealism Manifesto was penned. On the right, we can see an exquisite cadaver, which was a way of creating poetry and making drawings that invited creators to co-create and gave them permission to let their stream of consciousness flow. Here is a video that nicely contextualizes Spain's historical avant-garde in a broader context. 